Welcome to Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. This is one of my favorite games, and it turns 20 this year. In fact, it came out in <clears throat> March of 96 in Japan and May of 96 in North America. I was in fourth grade at the time, and I remember two things about this game before I first, uh, first got it. One was the commercial. Uh, which had this old guy, I guess grand grandpa, talking to his grandkids, telling the story as if it was in these old, old-timey stories. Your first to Smithy the Sword. So I, I always thought that, you know, the sword was was who Smithy was. Uh, and I also remember that uh, at the end of fourth grade, one of my friends had an in-class birthday party, and he got this game. And uh, I was always a huge fan of Mario. That was one of my first really big obsessions was Mario. If you haven't seen my uh, Karate Koopa video, uh, that should show you just how obsessed I am with this with this uh, franchise or was. Uh, but when I first was introduced to this game, when I first got this game, I would never played an RPG before. I never even knew what an RPG was until I got the player's guide and uh, one of the earliest uh, chapter heading titles was uh, Roll Into the Role Playing Game. And that's when I finally realized that, oh, an RPG... Okay, oh, I get it now, I get it. I still didn't really know what it meant. I didn't know... I, I, I enjoyed things like turn-based combat in this game, but I didn't know that was an RPG element. I didn't know what made this an RPG. I just knew that this game really interested me because it had story and characters and things were... I'd never seen a game like this before. And, uh... Oh, you notice this... Intro shows a lot of things that never happened in the game, like like that. That never happens in the game. They never. That, that, they don't. Those enemies don't appear in that area. I don't. Uh, but I, I do love this this intro. It's a lot of fun. It only ever shows Mario, Mallow, and Gino in this party, though. Even though there are five active characters, I guess they didn't want to give away that uh, Koopa and the princess were part of your active party. I don't. I don't know. <clears throat> But I guess one of my one of my big regrets is that uh, as much as I don't like things coming to franchise itis and having you know sequels for the sake of having sequels, I I really wish this game had gotten uh, a follow up, a real follow up. As much as I love the Mario and Luigi and Paper Mario series, I want another game set in this universe so badly. But not long after this, uh, Nintendo and Square had kind of a falling out. Final Fantasy VII moved over to Sony. And, uh, this is a Square-developed game, so... I guess it's a good place to start for my very first RPG. So... <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little bit of stuff in my throat. So... This is kind of a new territory for me. I did a video game video before. That never happens in the game either. There's never any birds there. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh yeah, I did a you know the Mario Galaxy 2 perfect run a couple months ago. Never really done like a let's play type thing before, and this is what this is kind of a let's play kind of a riff. Uh, or I'm not gonna like go into every detail about this game, but I do know it pretty well because I've played it many, 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 many times. So I'm just gonna have some fun with it, and hopefully you guys have fun with it too. So, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. I'm gonna skip over the naming my character and file stuff. I'll meet you back when the game starts. Did you ever get deja vu? That feeling where you feel like you've experienced something you've already experienced before? So you ever get deja vu, that feeling where you feel like you've experienced something you've already experienced before? But yeah, we gotta sit through the opening again, and you can't skip through it. So, uh, enjoy. Help. Hey, didn't I just do this? Hey, hey Mario, remember how in most of our games, you have to like fight through eight different worlds of various topography just to get to my castle? Well, I decided to make it simple this time and build my castle right next to your house. Age of convenience at all. Leroy Jenkins! 
But in all seriousness, I, I do like this. It, it, it makes a good intro tutorial level and shows that what you're about to experience is so much more intense than anything Mario's ever experienced before. Like turn-based encounters. Yeah, this, this is new. We got Mario punching people and instead of jumping on them. This is before Super Mario 64, so wait, wait, where's my experience? This is an RPG. We're supposed to have experience points, right? How about the... Love what you've done with the carpets. Why, why do I keep fighting these guys if I'm not getting experience for them? I... I'm doing a great job so far of... Really cutting to the heart of the action here and not showing you all the extraneous stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, skip over this guy and... Alright, I gotta fight these two, so... And now there are four of them! Oh, they split! Trick me. Ooh, and I guess what happens, I'm gonna punch him, and then he's gonna come punch me. And then he's gonna come and punch me. That's the thing about turn-based combat, you never know what's gonna happen next. Alright, this is the kind of Mario Castle stuff I'm used to. Bridges over lava and flaming fireballs and you get too close to the edge, you fall in. Like this. I can't even fall into the lava. This, this barely qualifies as a Mario game. And here I go, minding my own business. I'm gonna go through this door and... Oh, nice to see you hanging around. Okay, now, now what would you have done if I'd just gone through the door and had noticed you up there in your death trap? I, I don't know. Man, this is a pretty short game, huh? Alright, so this is a uh, kind of gimmick battle. You can't beat him one-on-one. -on -one. So if you keep on uh, shooting, well, keep on attacking him, he's gonna, she's gonna tell you to aim for the chain. Oh, look, Mario can jump after all. Yeah, I think one more jump will cut it. I love how he just didn't even notice that I was hitting the chain instead of him for the past two turns. Oh yeah, where's he jumping? I, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I love his little cry face. Fight, Mario! Fight! What does that even mean? It's, it's a chain with a mouth. How do, you, how do you fight that? Do you just... Unless you hold the, the mouth together? I... When I jumped up here, it was about six feet in the air. Now I'm falling for several minutes. Okay, so when I was a kid, I always had a friend. I I don't even know who it was. Or maybe it was multiple friends. Who knows how these things get started. But it always told me that uh, once you uh, jumped up onto this chain here, if you push the B button at the exact right time, you actually could jump to the princess and save her. I've never gotten that happen happen before. Oh, looks like I missed it again. I'm gonna have to play through the whole game. Meanwhile, on Mount Olympus... Hey guys, look! It's Smithy the Sword! Ooh. Ooh, now, I'm no Sigmund Freud. Sometimes a sword is just a sword, and sometimes it's a giant phallic object with a face penetrating right in between your two towers. But what do I know? <laughs> Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again!
Yeah, that's a nice house, but uh, I have to wonder, how do you keep out the rain? And burglars. And yourself. Well, I'd say he stuck that landing pretty well, but the Russian judges might give him an 8.5. Came by to pick up the princess. That's, wow, they've really fallen on hard times. That's the best royal guard you can get. Just one guy. Oh, they got a nice green bed. Remember the green bed, it's gonna be important later. And I got an extra cap over here. So the silent treatment, I'm a silent JRPG protagonist now. Don't you understand what that means? There's more to that. You, you gotta listen to me. I, I have no mouth and I must scream. Listen to me. There, there's a giant sword and his name is Smithy. Oh, whatever. Fine. First you tell me to go and... Hey, you know what? Don't tell me how to live my life, okay? How do I even get one of these in my front front door anyway? Who makes save points? What are they in, in the game world? Leroy Jenkins! Hey, it's, it's that Smithy the Sword guy again. For nosy characters like you, we practically own this world! I, I just met you five seconds ago. What, what have I done to prevent you from taking over the world? No, it'll take the Mushroom Corps of Engineers six months to build a new bridge across there! Uh, be much easier to travel around the entire world and come from the opposite side. So that's the plan. Uh, this is gonna be awkward. How do I tell him that I've lost the princess? Oh, who am I kidding? He loses the princess every other day. Okay, I dreamed I was a supermodel walking down the runway, and then- Oh my god, it's a giant cheeseburger! Oh, I can't eat that. My calories. Oh, yeah, or, or that. Hmm, I like we have a chancellor. I don't know if he's supposed to be... You know, related to her, or... We, we never see him again, just a chancellor. Hey, welcome to the real tutorial section of the game. Now, I could be wrong, but I, I've always I've always been under the impression that if you say no to this, then you have to actually use the item and you can't save it for later. And you can just restore your HP for free in your bed, so I always say that I know how to use it. I've arrived for the tutorial. And for some reason, I actually enjoy this one, so even though you've seen me do time pits, I just... I like doing the tutorial. I don't know why. I guess this is before I play Final Fantasy VIII and saw the tutorials lasted for like 10 minutes. First, push A. Okay, now what? You, you didn't give me any further instructions here. Boy, this tutorial's already off to a great start. Oh, shouldn't that have been a little bit earlier, push A to attack? Okay, this is very uncomfortable right now. So this is basically the, the mechanic. This is what sets Mario RPGs apart from most other RPGs, is the idea of timed hits, act, action commands, I think later, later Mario RPGs call them, where you actually get to push a button to time your hits to do more damage. Or to reduce damage from when you're hit, which, you know, just gives it a bit more of an immersive feel. Is it this button? Is it th you didn't tell me which button does special attacks. Oh, I guess it's this one. This is not the smartest tutorial I've ever seen before. But I, I do like the uh, 
you know, the, the circle of buttons around you, each one having its own option. It, it just makes it feel a little, little more immersive than your typical drop-down menu, choose a command type of thing from a list. Okay, do you have Mushroom ADD or something? You, you just keep on losing your train of thought here. If I break open a block, can I get you some Ritalin? Okay, well, I think that's all we're gonna do for right now. We're on our way to Mushroom Way, and I'm sure he's... He won't get in trouble at all. He seems like a fine, upstanding, responsible young man, so... That's about it. I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this. Give me your comments. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. See ya!